Congratulations, you're about to be a mother. Becoming a parent is an exciting and rewarding experience, but it can also feel overwhelming sometimes, and you likely have lots of questions. I hope this series of videos will be a helpful companion throughout your pregnancy. Pregnancy begins when a man's sperm fertilizes a woman's egg. Since you don't always know when your fertilization occurs, doctors calculate pregnancy based on the first day of your last menstrual period. Your egg may have been fertilized just two weeks ago, but because your last period was four weeks ago, you're officially four weeks pregnant at the time of your missed period. Your doctor will count forward 40 weeks from your previous menstrual period to estimate your due date. If you have an ultrasound early in your pregnancy, your doctor may measure the baby to determine your due date instead. In the first month of your pregnancy, a watertight sac forms around the embryo, gradually filling with fluid. This is called the amniotic sac, which helps cushion the growing embryo. There's also another type of sac called the yolk sac. The yolk sac will provide nutrients to the embryo while the placenta is developing. The fetal nervous system is one of the very first systems to develop. At about week five of pregnancy, the neural plate folds onto itself to form the neural tube. The neural tube is a hollow structure of tissue, which later develops into the brain and spinal cord. In the same week, the preliminary structures that will become your baby's heart begin spontaneously pulsing. Blood cells are taking shape and circulation will begin. The tiny heart tube now beats a hundred times a minute. The fetus is about the size of a grain of rice. Facial features continue to develop. Each ear begins as a little fold of skin on the sides of the head, and tiny buds that eventually grow into arms and legs form. Bone also starts to replace cartilage. By the end of the second month, the fetus is about the size of a raspberry. By the end of the third month, the fetus is fully formed and all organs and limbs are present. The fetus is now about the size of a plum and fills your entire uterus. Since the most critical development has taken place, your chance of miscarriage drops considerably after three months. While your first sign of pregnancy might have been a missed period, you can expect several other physical changes in the coming weeks as your body adjusts to the hormonal changes of pregnancy. Rising levels of HCG may be responsible for the waves of nausea and vomiting that are known as morning sickness. Despite its name, morning sickness can occur any time of day. A pregnant person may also feel more tired than usual during the first trimester, a symptom linked with rising levels of the hormone progesterone, which increases sleepiness. Progesterone also acts as a muscle relaxant, preventing your uterus from contracting until the onset of labor. But those same muscle relaxing properties can also cause heartburn and constipation as it slows down your digestive tract. And finally, progesterone is associated with that classic irritability present in the premenstrual period. And because your progesterone levels stay elevated during your pregnancy, mood swings can be a side effect. Meanwhile, estrogen helps to maintain the endometrial lining, which is vital for the baby's development. Estrogen is believed to promote an increase in blood flow, which is important for nourishing the baby. But that extra blood flow has the side effect of making your breasts achy and tender. The increased blood flow can also cause you to head to the bathroom more often, as your kidneys process the extra fluids and your uterus puts pressure on your bladder. You might feel the urgent and frequent need to pee. Fortunately, increased blood flow has at least one potential benefit. It may be the reason for your skin's healthy pregnancy glow. Most pregnant women gain between 10 kilograms and 12.5 kilograms and put on most of the weight after week 20. Much of the extra weight is due to your baby growing, but your body will also store fat to turn into breast milk after your baby is born. Thank you for watching this video. If you'd like more information about what happens in the second trimester, please watch my next video.